All right, what's good boys? Uh, so another little YouTube video. What you guys are about to watch here is actually crucial to actually just not fucking it up when you get a new model for your agency. Um, it's an entire free lesson that we're gonna share with you guys. We actually shared it on my Instagram uh, about a couple of days or a week ago, depending on when you're watching this. So um, if you don't follow me already, follow me on Instagram, pop it up somewhere around here, at Marcus Hustle. For context as well, by the way, there's a lot of these spammy accounts going about. I don't have any other accounts. So it's just this one, at Marcus Hustle. Nevertheless, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This one is full of value. If you want me to create any more of them, comment below what other videos you'd like me to create. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram to see more of these videos before YouTube sees it uh, so you can scale your agency. Cool, see you next one. What's good, boys? So, go ahead and share with you guys kind of the onboarding process because a lot of people ask us this question and it's actually pretty much the most important part, you know, because first impressions matter the most. So once you have gone ahead and got your first model on board or your next model, um, you know, what do you actually do? Uh, what are the first couple of steps? And uh, may, you need to make sure that there's a very, very consistent and precise onboarding process that just simply works. You get everything that you need from the model, the model gets everything that um, they need from you and so on and so on, right? So this is essentially uh, an onboarding process that will build out. So I thought I'd just share this with you guys as I get this question asked all the time. And um, so just gonna run through and obviously stay with me till the end of this video, guys. I'll show you exactly, you know, how you can actually, if you don't have a model, how to get your first models, and um, potentially, you know, show you guys different ways, right? So, okay, cool. So the onboarding form, um, so pretty simple stuff. Um, you guys can go ahead and obviously build out your own one. This is on Google Forms, so it's completely free as long as you have a Google account. Um, and you, I think it's a subscription of like four pounds a month. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, so first of all, personal profile. So tell us a bit about yourself, a paragraph of your interests, personality traits, and some background info. This will help the chatting on your OnlyFans account um, to be far more convincing. Um, so obviously the whole point of getting a chatter on board is to free a lot of time to the model um, uh, however, you need to obviously make sure one of the most important parts is well, obviously making sure the chatter is making you a lot of money with the customs and uh, pay-per-views and so on. However, at the same time, the chatter needs to sound and be just like your model, okay? So they need to have the same, uh, the way they type needs to be the same. Um, the, the info that the chatter says about the model needs to be you know, the same and it needs to correspond. So for example, if your model has gone into a live stream, and somebody asked her something and she, you know, she, she gave some free information about herself on her live stream. Um, the chatter need, the, on, on OnlyFans, the, uh, the, the messages need to correspond to what the, uh, OF creator has said, you know, publicly. Okay. So that's what this box says here. So it's just general information about the model as the more, the better, of course. Right. Uh, this one is obviously required. So, uh, that's why there's a little star there. All right. Pretty cool stuff. Age, simple, height, sexuality. Again, the reason for these is simply so whenever um, somebody asks a question in uh, OnlyFans and the chatter responds, it obviously uh, corresponds to what the actual uh, facts are of the model. All right, cool. Um, now, this one is more obviously for the agency, for you. So what level of explicity uh, are you comfortable with? All right, so the model will obviously tell you uh, you know, at least how we do it, I'm sure you're probably the same. By this point, you probably already will know the uh, the explicity of the model because you've had a call uh, with her. Um, however, this will obviously be sent to the chatter. So the chatter also needs to know what kind of customs can he or she sell, right? Because if the model isn't um, happy with doing, for example, anything to do with anal, um, well, your, your um, chatter can't obviously sell that content because the, your creator wouldn't be happy creating it, all right? So again, pretty simple stuff. Um, moving on to the next one, uh, what content do you already have available uh, and in brackets, just you know what you have in the vault on your OnlyFans or is there more content created outside of OF, all right? This is uh, again, pretty simple. Most of the time it will be just like, yes, or what I already have in the vault. Uh, but it's good to know because maybe the uh, creator already has like a Google Drive uh, or a Dropbox with a bunch of uh, new content that isn't on the vault yet. And this will be good to know as well. Um, also, what is your menu tip slash pricing if you have one? As you notice, this isn't a required box, so the the, uh, the model can actually avoid, you know, just leave this question if they don't have a menu tip. Most of the models will probably already have one, um, at least that we've encountered. Um, so if they do have a menu tip or at least pricing what they roughly price their videos, their photos at, um, again, this is really good to have right here as well. Again, again, the whole point of this is so your chatter and your model, they're both on the same page when it comes to selling content, right? So your chatter isn't undervaluing or for some reason, you know, uh, forexing the price of something when the sub 
is used to paying an X amount for that same content, right? Because you don't want to lose subs by just pissing them off, right? Um, do you have anyone featured in your OnlyFans content? If so, please add all of their ads below so we can tag them, okay? So if your model does like uh, boy-girl content or girl-girl content, um, then obviously you need to obviously have all the ads um, of that said creator uh, whenever you're sending the content out, okay? So if your model has a video with another girl, um, then you need the other girl's uh, OnlyFans app as well. Now obviously if the other girl isn't OnlyFans, which is quite unlikely, but if she isn't, then you need a, uh, a release form, okay? And you need to make sure that's in place. Um, so make sure, yeah, your model goes ahead and puts all the uh, OnlyFans ads of the other creators that she has created content with. Um, so yeah, when your chatter goes ahead and sends out the content, they can tag them. Pretty simple stuff. So you don't get in trouble, what well, your model doesn't get in trouble, all right? Um, also, general advice slash instructions on how you typically type and talk. Anything in specific we should know to blend the chat in like it was yourself. I don't think I need to explain this one. It's pretty self-explanatory. Again, this is literally the, probably one of the most important parts of this entire form, other than obviously the login details, which we'll get to in a sec. Um, but really, really, really make sure you pay close attention to making sure that your chatter, uh, when he or she is uh, you know, messaging, making sure it sounds the same as what your model was like uh, when she was doing the chatting, yeah? Um, cause that's, that's so fucking important guys. So in this case, it would be like any, um, any slang, uh, how many kisses does she put? Does she put kisses? Does she put emojis? Does she not put emojis? Shit like that. All right. Um, do you already have your subs or, uh, and vault organized with emojis and acronyms? If so, please explain below. Again, as you can see, these three aren't required. Um, so they don't, don't have like a, a little star because sometimes the model might not have, um, you know, their subs and their vault organized. If they don't, you need to make sure you do that. Um, it will just make your life so much easier. Um, however, sometimes um, we have had instances where models already obviously come on board. They're already making $20,000 a month and they already have everything neatly organized. Um, and it makes sense to the model, but maybe when you log on, none of that shit makes sense, right? Maybe the list doesn't make sense um, and so on and so on. So this is where, if it is organized already, um, your model needs to, of course, uh, explain what means what, right? What, what stands for what? Um, so then again, everyone's on the same page. Yeah, pretty simple. Um, where do you currently store your content? Please include the login of places such as Google Drive. Again, this is if they have a Google Drive or a Dropbox, whatever, however your model does it. Again, the login details right here. Um, and then obviously this needs to be uh, pretty self-explanatory. So the login details to the OnlyFans plus make sure the 2FA is turned off. Um, sometimes you might have to reach out to, if, if she has 2FA on, you might have to reach out to OnlyFans um, to help them turn that off, right, in some instances. Um, obviously, Instagram, login details, Twitter, login details, Reddit, uh, login details, pretty simple, and obviously a mobile number, so you can reach out to the model if uh, any emergencies happen and you really need to get hold of them ASAP. Or, for example, if you keep communications on WhatsApp. Cool, all right? And then last but not least, uh, you know, we've added this because you never know, maybe you missed something out. You know, you can always add questions to this form, by the way, you can take them away. This is just a dummy form that I've just created for you guys. Um, anything else you want to mention or add uh, that we have not asked you on this questionnaire, right? Maybe anything else specific. Maybe, uh, for example, here's a little tip. Maybe your uh, creator is happy to sell used underwear. Um, maybe she's happy to do uh, Skype calls. The, the list is endless, okay? Um, just think, of, think outside the box what other ways can you monetize um, your uh, creator's followers and uh, outside of OnlyFans. So this is maybe where she could add that, all right? And then please tick this box to show that you understand making a high amount of money will require great commitment from you. We expect regular content, regular posting on Instagram and Twitter. This is all outlined in a content plan PDF you will receive. And that's where, if you want that, you go ahead and schedule a call with us somewhere around this video. Click on the button, schedule a call with us. If you're a right fit and you go ahead and join our coaching program, we can teach you all this stuff. We can send you this. Uh, we can, you know, go, go over this in more detail, give you kind of um, some more boxes to add, some takeaway. Uh, but this is a really good start for you guys. If you're just starting out, this is a great form to use. Um, as again, it will make sure that your model, yourself and your chatter, that you guys are all in one page. You guys all understand each other. Um, yeah, 
pretty easy to, to work with from there on. So hopefully this has uh, helped you guys. Like I said, if you guys um, are interested in further coaching, really getting to learn how can you start making 10, 15, $20,000 a month um, with your agency, go ahead and uh, schedule a call with us somewhere around this uh, link or somewhere around this video. Uh, probably there's a button somewhere around here as well. Go ahead and schedule a call with us. Really would love to talk to yourself and see if you're a good fit. Uh, we offer kind of Zoom calls with you guys, you know, on a weekly basis. There's a Discord community. There's an online program. So we, we got quite a lot to offer for you guys. So if you're interested, yeah, schedule the call. Other than that, hopefully see you on the next one. Yeah, take it easy.